I was cornered, trapped. He grabbed me by the neck and kept smashing my head against the fridge, saying, You fucking do this to me every time. You fucking did this. You fucking made me do this. There was broken glass everywhere and my feet were getting cut. He had me up against the fridge and he grabbed the front of my gown and ripped it open. So at some point, I was bare-chested. I don't remember what he was saying, but he was mocking me, touching my breasts. He ripped off the rest of my gown, so I was naked. He grabbed me by my breasts, and he kept shoving me against the fridge. I remember that the floor was wet. My nightgown on the floor, and it had gotten soaking wet. I did notice that. I noticed there was blood on the floor. There was broken glass everywhere, on the floor and on the countertop. At some point, he pulled me around by my neck and pushed me down against the bar. I was against the bar, naked, bent over backwards, my back against the marble. He was pressing so hard on my neck, I couldn't breathe. I was trying to tell him that I couldn't breathe. I remember thinking... He was going to kill me in that moment. The floor was wet and I was slipping. I couldn't get a purchase and I was kicking my feet trying to stand up but nothing was catching. I was using my forearms to try and raise myself up and cutting myself on the broken glass on the counter. I remember pleading with Johnny saying he was hurting and cutting me and asked him to let me up. He ignored me, continuing to hit me with the back of one of his closed hands. He was screaming at me over and over again. You ruined my life. I hate you. I'm going to fucking kill you. And I'll fuck your corpse. He said it so loud and over and over. I'm going to fucking kill you. I really thought I might die. Was this a romance novel that I just read to you? Or maybe it was a porno. Maybe it was someone's story of a kinky night that they had together. Oh... Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fifty Shades of Amber. This was Amber Heard's statement of truth during what she called a three-day hostage situation when she went to visit Johnny Depp while he was filming Pirates of the Caribbean in Australia back in 2015. Did this really happen? Was this some story that Amber Heard wanted to use and twisted it into a way that made it sound more vicious and cruel. Amber kept talking about glass on the floor and cutting her forearms. Well, here's a picture of Amber's forearms. You would think that from the description she gave, that her forearms would be cut in different areas, like jagged. But not here. And if you notice the picture, it's straight up and down. Like self-inflicted. But not the way she was describing it as. And if her feet were so cut and there was glass everywhere on the floor, how was she able to walk? If you all remember the movie Die Hard, if you've seen it, you remember that Bruce Willis played a police officer and he didn't have any shoes. So what they did was they shot the glass so he'd have to step on it and his foot was injured. And there was blood everywhere. Some things Amber tells just don't add up. To me, this sounded like something she got from a romance novel. Maybe a wild night she had. Or maybe a story from her friend. Or maybe even worse. I'm not quite sure. But with Amber, things never seem to add up here. Someone who fears for her life will look for any way, not only to just to get out of what's going on, but try to get out of there permanently, especially someone who has millions of dollars, is a celebrity, and knows that Johnny owns many, many properties. Can go to the island that he owns, or could go to any other property that he owns just to get away from him. Maybe your parents, maybe a friend's house. But then again, Johnny was paying for her friends so they could live in L.A. in his penthouses 
for free for four years. So what do you think of this Fifty Shades of Amber story she made up? Don't you think that Amber, she really wanted to escape? There was nothing to hold her back. There was no children in this relationship. She had money. And with Johnny filming on location, she could have easily went anywhere she wanted to. After all, she said she was independent. Just another reason why that I don't believe Amber Heard. If you wanted to know where it comes, comes from her statement of truth, paragraphs 110, 111, 112 in that area. And with that being said, you let me know what you think of all this in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you next time with some more on this case. Till then, take care. Be safe and be well. Thank you for your support.